Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-745, the headlights. Now, this little number falls under the object class of Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what makes these headlights so special, shall we? SCP-745 originates from an abandoned stretch of highway in northern New Mexico. The Foundation has acquired the surrounding land and redirected the highway. Disguised as highway patrol agents, on-site security is responsible for removing trespassers and capturing any new hunting pairs of SCP-745. Captured SCP-745 creatures, whether alive or dead, are to be placed into Class 3 BCU storage containers for transportation to Site-17. Research is ongoing to develop containment procedures for preserving living specimens of SCP-745, as no captured specimen has survived more than a week in captivity. However, with no new sightings of SCP-745 outside of its point of origin, the species is presumed to be effectively contained. Requests for access to SCP-745 cadavers should be directed to Dr. Langford. SCP-745, also known as the Headlights, is a dangerous entity that primarily operates in pairs along desolate highways. These two specimens have the ability to reach speeds of up to 180 km per hour, moving in perfect synchronization to mimic the appearance of approaching vehicle headlights. Their primary targets are solitary vehicles traveling along the highway. When they spot a potential victim, the hunting pairs will aggressively pursue the vehicle, with the intention of forcing the driver off the road. Once the vehicle has been forced off the road or comes to a stop, the pair will then separate and proceed to directly attack and consume the occupants of the vehicle. Despite numerous encounters with SCP-745, there have been no direct observations of them feeding. This is due to the fact that captured specimens refuse to consume food, and successful attacks have not resulted in any witnesses surviving to provide an account of the feeding process. In the aftermath of their attacks, SCP-745 tends to leave very little physical evidence behind. There are rarely any remains of the victims, with only scraps of clothing and shoes being discovered at the scene. Furthermore, Vehicles that have been targeted by SCP-745 show minimal signs of forced entry and are often covered with childlike handprints left by the entity's front paws. SCP-745, known as the Headlights, has not been found to have any lairs, nests, or young. The entity once had a large territory across the southwestern United States, but Foundation teams began reducing their numbers in the 1960s. As a result, all recent sightings of SCP-745 have been confined to a secured area in New Mexico. Phantom Light reports in other parts of the country have been thoroughly investigated, but there have been no indications of SCP-745 involvement. <laughs>